In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Deacon Angel Palacios from the Mission of St. Andrew in Tijuana, Baja California, Diocese of Mexico of the Orthodox Church in America. The Gospel is for the 25th of November 2018, according to St. John. My kingdom is not of this world. Pilate said to Jesus, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you say this on your own, or have others told you about me? Pilate answered, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priest handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom does not belong to this world. If my kingdom did belong to this world, my attendants would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But, uh, but as it is, my kingdom is not here. So Pilate said to him, Then you are a king? Jesus answered, You say I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. In the vast Roman sea, apostolic sea, which is not orthodox, today they celebrate Christ the King. And they have this Gospel of John. And I would like to preach you about what it means. And I, I will say it to you in Latin. For you, dear brother priests, dear Roman brother priests, Renium meum non est hoc mundo. My kingdom is, does not belong to this world. Why is that? Well, the kingdom of God starts in the heart where God reigns. And obviously, the Lord being handed to the pagans, that is the Romans, by those who were his people but betrayed him, the high priests, the Pharisees, the scholars of the law, the Sadducees, and even some fools of the Israelites, they decided to go against God. So God was not really being the ruler in their hearts. But it is also true that we are not to build from the outside. As we had celebrated last Wednesday, the entrance of the Theotokos into the temple in Jerusalem, so had the old covenant been renewed. For the Lord will not dwell in a temple made out of hands, by the hands of our own, but in our own bodies. And the kingdom of God must be built from within. We cannot cleanse our hearts, but God will not cleanse our hearts unless we ask Him. We cannot purify ourselves, but God will not purify ourselves unless we want to and ask Him and are willing to suffer everything that, need, that we need to suffer in order for, unto, for us to be cleansed. Renion meum non es hoc mundo. But everyone who is of the truth, everyone who is truthful, will listen to the truth, that is, will listen to the gospel, will listen to God himself. Where are you, dear brothers? Are you following those that would like to go against God himself, trying to correct him? Because that's what happens. When you change the creed and you try to make everyone believe that, 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 what, you, that what you've done is right, then you're trying to correct God himself. And the Lord Jesus said, the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father. And that's all. That is the original creed written in Constantinople and Nicene, Nicaea. That is the creed that is buried within your Roman documents, but that the curia, that the hierarchy will not allow you to read. They would, like, they would even like to destroy it if they could. But does that get you closer to God or farther from God? 
Every time you go against God, every time you go against the truth, you are going away and away. May God in His mercy illumine all of us, all our hearts, that we may get to get back to Him in truth and true conversion.